Been my finger. Bro, check it. I'm like totally surfing the web. Whoa! <laughs> Gnarly, bro! Woo. Uh, bro, not that kind of surfing. This kind of surfing, see? I'm gonna buy a pet ant! Bro, you can't just buy one ant. They come in colonies. If you buy one, he's gonna be lonely. Uh, not if I take him on walks to the park, and feed him treats, and teach him how to sit, and love him like he was my own son, bro! Bro, I don't think ants like to do that. I think you're thinking of a dog, bro. No way, bro! I definitely want an ant! And besides, remember the last time we got a dog? Bro! The dog's got my arm! Ah! Ah! <sighs> well, that's true, bro. But don't you remember what Mama said? Don't buy an insect on the internet, or you'll get a giant creepy spider infestation. I was just a conspiracy theorist, bro. And besides, even a baby wouldn't believe that. Now, what kind of shipping should I get? Fast, free, or instant? <gasps> instant shipping? I know, bro. I can't believe it either. Order. It's here. Oh, boy. <laughs> My lifelong friend has arrived. And in one to three business seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Look, bro! I got him! Bro, why do you need such a huge box for a tiny little ant? Oh, bro, how dare you question the logistics of the U.S. Postal Service! And besides, Antonio likes the extra space! Bro, you've never even met this ant. How do you know his name's Antonio? His name's Antonio. Oh, hi, little guy. Little Antonio. Hey, I'm gonna be your new mommy. Oh, bro, that's disgusting. That's the biggest ant I've ever seen in my life. He's not disgusting. He's beautiful, bro. Here, pet him. Ugh, I don't want to pet him, bro. He's gross. Pet him. I'm not gonna pet him. You better pet him, bro. I'm not gonna pet him. Pet him. Okay, bro. <laughs> Antonio, stop! Oh. <laughs> My finger. Oh. Sorry, bro. He doesn't know any better. He's teething. Quit making excuses for Antonio. <gasps> you used his name. Dang it. We need to get rid of that thing. He's going to mutilate somebody. Oh. Okay, bro, I'll, I'll uh, send him to obedience training. What was that? Oh no, Mama was right. That's the sound of giant creepy spiders. And they're coming for us, bro. <gasps> giant creepy spiders? <laughs> Stop screaming, bro. The spiders will hear us. <gasps> oh, you're so right, bro. Let's hide. So many of them! We're gonna have to be super quiet if we're gonna sneak past them. Okay. Spiders know we're here for sure by now. Oh, no! Bro, we're toast. It knocked down their baby spider, and it's all Antonio's fault. Oh, bro, you're just saying that because you're prejudiced against ants. Antonio didn't mean it, and besides, it wasn't even that bad. Oh, ah! Ah! Bro? Whoa! 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 Oh, no. You three! We 
We are quite disappointed that you knocked over that silver spoon and injured our baby spider. Boom! I didn't know spiders were British. We hereby decree that as punishment for your actions, you must clean up this mess and freshen up for dinner. <gasps> wow! That doesn't sound like too bad of a punishment, bro. And we get free dinner. Yum. Oh, and did we mention you're the main cause? Bro, I'm hungry, but not that hungry. <gasps> Anthony, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, Antonio just saved me. I totally misjudged him. That's my boy! Oh no, Antonio! Watch out! Oh no! He's not breathing! Anthony! No! Bro, he's gone. You just gotta accept that he did the final sacrifice for us. No! <laughs> Here lies Antonio. Antonio was the biggest ant I ever met. With an even bigger heart! <laughs> You're so right, bro. I don't know how I'm ever gonna replace him, bro! Actually, bro, you could probably buy another one off of Amazon. <laughs> oh, you're so right, bro. I feel so much better. Bro, that was a crazy adventure. What'd you learn from it? Well, bro, today I learned you shouldn't judge a book by its covers. I judged Antonio because I thought he was a bad ant, but he ended up saving me and my life. Yeah, he did, bro. And I guess I learned that what Mama says is pretty true, like 100% of the time, bro. <laughs> Like 90% of the time, 100% of the time. Yeah, like 89% of the time, 82% of the time, right? Anthony? Bro, what are you doing? What, bro? Bro, your hand's on the stove. You could get seriously injured. What hand? This hand, bro? No, it's not. No, your other hand. Oh, this hand. Bro, it feels like you're being intentionally stupid right now. Oh, intentionally stupid? I only do that on accident, bro. Oh, you're unbelievable, bro. Speaking of unbelievable, what's that smell? It's your other, other hand getting sauteed on the stove, bro. What, bro? Is it bad? Oh, bro, it's terrible. This is worse than when you make steak. You don't like my steak? But you said you did. Bro! Well, I also said I love mom's green bean casserole, but you know how I feel about that. But anyway, you need to look at your hand. I, I don't want to, bro. I'm scared of what I might see. Do it. I'm not gonna do it, bro. Come on, bro. Do it. I'm not gonna do it, bro. Do it. Fine. So? Um, bro, it's perfectly fine. Why were you screaming like that? Because you got burn marks on your hands, bro. Bro, the stove is just a little dirty. I'm perfectly fine. Let me wipe it off. See? But bro, your hand was sizzling and everything. <gasps> You're so right, bro. <gasps> this can only mean one thing. I'm invincible! Bro, that's incompatible with human physiology. We're all flawed and mortal. We're made to break and burn. But bro, haven't you noticed that we fall and run into things all the time and we never seem to get hurt? I got my arm! That's actually compelling evidence. Maybe we should test this with an experiment. Let's do the banana experiment. Bro, what's the banana experiment? The banana experiment, you say? Well, according to most of the scientific literature, generally, you take the outer casing of a banana and you put it on a surface. And due to the genetic makeup of the banana, it has an inherent tendency to blah, 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 bl
You understand what I'm saying? Huh? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take your word for it, bro. Let's go. Let me show you how it's done in the sciences. This is proper banana peeling technique. And this is also very important. Mm. That does sound important. Can I have a bite? Sorry, scientists only. Ooh, I can't wait to try out my superpowers. Hey there, pal. Not so fast. Let the scientists do the work. Ooh. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. My back and my head and my leg and everything hurts. Bro, move your hand. We have to know if the experiment worked. Okay, bro. Take a look. Ah! Oh no! Do I look hideous? Yes! But also that injury looks bad too! Well I guess that proves our hypothesis is wrong. We're not invincible. No bro, no way! I know I'm invincible. It's something I felt deep down inside for my whole life. I've always been different. I think this is why. Well if you're really invincible, then you need to prove it and do the experiment. Fine! I will! <sighs> Banana! Here you go. Here goes nothing. Whoa! Uh, mommy. Oh no, bro. Are you all right? Never been better, bro. Are you sure about that, bro? Take your hat off your head. My, my hat off my head? We have to know if the experiment worked and if you're gravely injured. But, but what if I, what if I don't want to know? Do it! Okay, Senator Palpatine! <gasps> what? Am I not invincible? No, bro. You look perfectly fine. You didn't get hurt at all. It's crazy! <gasps> Hooray! I'm invincible! I'm invincible! I'm invincible! I'm invincible! I'm invincible! I'm invincible! Hold your horses there, buddy. Huh? Science requires multiple studies to confirm a theory. You can't just say you know something based off of one experiment. We gotta try it again. Oh man. <laughs> well, so do you. Oh no. Anything for science, though. All right, I've prepared this cooler. And what's inside this cooler will give you the worst injury you've ever had. You could lose all your fingers. Lose all my fingers? Like, what's inside of it, bro? See for yourself. <gasps> Dirty snow? Ha 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 ha! That's right! You could get frostbite and lose your entire hand. Bro, you're starting to sound like an evil scientist. Well, you know what they say, evil scientists before beauty. After you. Whatever, here goes nothing. <laughs> Now we wait for three hours. So cold. But three hours is up. So here we go. Here we go. Oh no, my hand is stuck. What am I gonna do? Oh, I got it. Ah! Bro, look at your hand. What bro, is there something wrong with it? Ah! Okay, bro, I don't know if I want to do this one. You have to. It's about science, man. <sighs> uh, I don't even care about being invincible anymore. Do it. Well, when you say it like that, okay. How's your hand, bro? I think it's been about three hours. You better pull it out now. So cold. Show me your hand, bro. You might lose it if you don't pull it out now. Actually, I think I could go another three hours. Bro, it's been six hours that you've had your hand in the snow, and uh, I think you're gonna lose your hand. Actually, I can't feel a thing. Stop being such a tough guy, bro. That's probably just because the ice numbed your hand. In fact, maybe it's a really bad sign. Maybe if you lost your hand entirely. Uh, fine, I'll pull it out. <sighs> ah! Bro, does it look terrible? Yeah, terribly amazing. Wow, bro. I guess you really are invincible. I guess we'll just go inside and move on with our lives. Yeah, and have a harmless cup of water. Bro, did you lock the door? I'm 
good. See? Invincible. Come on. All right. I got our cups. I hope you're thirsty. Thirsty? Boy, am I. Oh, my poo is coming. Oh boy, am I thirsty. Well, I'm not cleaning that up. Hopefully that doesn't have any major consequences later. Hey bro, where's my water? It's right here, bro. Come and get it while it's cold. Oh boy, and Brody, guess what? <laughs> oh, bro, I think I got hurt this time. Bro, you never get hurt. You're fine, just get up. No, bro, like, my head really hurts. Bro, I thought you were invincible. Show me your head. Show me. Oh yeah, that's right, I am invincible. Okay. <gasps> Look at your forehead, bro. It's really bad. <laughs> yeah, right, bro. I've definitely heard that one before. <laughs> no, bro, I'm serious. You got a Lego in your head. <sighs> yeah, right, bro. I'll believe it when I see it. Here, bro, use this mirror. Ah! Hold still, bro. I'm gonna pull it out of your head. Pull it out of my head? That's right, bro. I have to do it now. We might not have much time. But I'm scared. There's no time to be scared. This is a medical emergency. How's it look, bro? Oh, yeah. I have a mirror. <laughs> Wow, bro, what a crazy adventure. What'd you learn today? Bro, I learned that I guess I'm not as invincible as I thought. I was wrong. Well, it's okay to admit that you're wrong. And it's okay that we all get hurt sometimes because we're, we're all just human. Exactly. So we all need to be careful because bad injuries can happen. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look, a banana. I'm hungry. No! Whoa! It's time to get a shot. Hey, bro, do you dare me to lick this spider? No way, bro. You'll get sick. Oh. Oh. Gosh. No, bro, stop. No. Stop before it's too late. You're going to catch a, catch a, 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 Well, what's wrong, bro? Are you sick? Uh, uh, no, no, I'm okay. It's just uh, allergies. You sure about that, bro? You just sneeze twice in like five seconds. <laughs> bro, you look really sick. Uh oh, I think you might need a shot or something. A shot or something? Uh, actually, I'm feeling better. <laughs> okay, bro, if you're sure you're fine. Yeah, bro, I'm totally fine. Um, what's that over there? Did you say something, bro? No. Hmm. Could have sworn I heard something. What's that, bro? I think you know exactly what that is, bro. It looks exactly like your boogers. Exactly like my boogers? How would you know what my boogers look like? Well, maybe because you've been sneezing them all over the place. You have a problem, bro. And I think we need to take you to the doctor. <laughs> See? Even Rat Dog agrees. Uh, the, the doctor? Come on, bro. Dr. McKittlebottoms is the best. Plus, she gives you a lollipop when you go in. Yeah, and you know what else she gives you? A shattered kneecap, bro. <laughs> you okay, bro? <laughs> Well, what does it look like? I'm fine. Oh, no. We're going to the doctor this instant. You're going to have to make me, bro. That's so. Well, if you're not going to go to the doctor, then I'm going to have to bring the doctor to you. Bro, you're not making any sense. <laughs> bro? Bro, why, why'd you turn around? Hey, what's that sound? Is that a heart rate monitor? Bro? Bro? Bro, just turn around. Stop acting weird. Bro? Bro, stop that, bro. Bro? <laughs> My worst fear! Doctors! Time for a shot, bro. Just a, a shot? You're not a qualified medical professional. Is this 
worse than Dr. McKinnelbottoms. <laughs> Sorry, nobody's home. We're not open. Sorry, we're closed? Ugh. You may have won this round of the examination, but you will take your medicine. I will take my medicine? What the heck does that mean? Well, at least I tricked him. <laughs> Time to take your medicine. Bro, I'm pretty sure impersonating a doctor is illegal. You could face a lot of jail time. So you think I'm a fake doctor, do you? Well, would a fake doctor have one of these? <gasps> a severed hand? Huh? Um, I, I mean one of these. A thermometer. I'm a real doctor. <gasps> a thermometer? That's even worse. He is a real doctor. <laughs> I can help with that. It's time to take your medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> what, what's that sound? An email from the American Heart Association on an advancement in pediatric science? An advancement in pediatric science? I better check this out. Oh, phew, that was a close one. I gotta come up with a plan. Dang it, why does that keep happening? I'm really giving me the doctor. Wait a second. There was no advancement in pediatric science today. He tricked me. And that was just a Tinder match. A Tinder match? Online dating? Is this doctor lonely? Maybe I can use that against him. Ha <laughs> ha! Come out, come out wherever you are. Watch this. Huh? What's that sound? Another Tinder match? It worked! It worked. My phone. Wait a second. That wasn't another Tinder match. That was a text message from Broseph. Ah, he tricked me. <laughs> Got it. All right, no more games. It's time to get serious. I'm going to put on my lab coat. It's business time. That. You'll never find me behind this pillow fort. Broseph, come out, come out, wherever you are. Pfft. Well, unfortunately for you, I'm never gonna come out from where I'm hiding. He'll never find me. I found you. Oh, dang it! I thought this pillow fort was impenetrable. <laughs> Everything I build always gets carried broken. Whoa, buddy, we need to put you on some antidepressants or something. You're not a qualified doctor, and besides, I'm really happy, see? In my professional opinion, you're crying. <laughs> These are happy tears. Enough chit-chat. Come and take your medicine. I don't want to take my medicine. Are you sure? It's hot sauce flavor. Hot sauce flavor? That sounds delicious! I know! Drink up! Yum! Here we go. Oh, I hate medicine. Drink up! That is hot sauce flavor! <laughs> oh no! That cough medicine knocked me out! <laughs> Time for your shot. No, please, bro. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll take my cough medicine. I'll, uh, I'll take my vitamins. I'll, I'll let you take my temperature. Just please don't give me the shot. <laughs> it's too late for that, bro. You should have taken your medicine a long time ago. It's time to get a shot. What is it, bro? I'll go to Dr. McKittlebottoms, okay? She's a qualified professional, and she knows what she's doing, okay? Just leave me alone, bro! Thanks, please. Hi, Dr. McKittlebottoms. Hello, 
finish, Sammy? Well, let's just have you sit down. Okay. And we're going to... I heard you got a little tickle in your nose. Yes, yeah, so, a little one. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> well, let's just give you a little shot, shall we? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't you worry, dearie. It'll be just a pinch. Okay. Looks like a really sharp pinch to me. Now, just close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, it's over, three. Love. It's over? But I didn't even feel it. That's because I'm a professional, dear. Oh! <laughs> wow, that was a crazy adventure, bro. What'd you learn from it? Well, today, I learned that you should probably not impersonate a medical doctor. Like I did, which was very bad to do. You know, you don't want to trust someone like me with your medical care. No way, bro. And I learned that the doctors aren't as scary as everyone says they are. And shots don't hurt as everyone says they do. Rad Dog? Oh no! Rad Dog's sick! Time for your shot!